Hello Aries and welcome to your March 2016 reading. I hope everybody is doing well and I always look forward to seeing you and seeing what information is coming through for you. Uh, I started this month as I start every month with a bit of channeled information for Aries and the word that came to mind was concentrate. Now uh, interesting word because a lot of times people think of concentration or focus. Um, I do like the focus portion of that word but what I'm thinking of is taking your um, attention and putting it into a single effort this month. It could be nurturing a dream. It could be um, helping someone in your life, giving them sort of support and energy. But whatever this concentration of effort will be, think of it as a concentrated food product. A very small amount contains a lot of potency. So uh, if you can take your energy and your effort and put it into a single focal point, then uh, you'll be able to make a really big impact come the end of the month. So less is more, but the effort that you put in is really what's important. So um, hopefully that will help you and you can find the application for you. But what I'm thinking again is to strip away some of the things that are, are, are causing noise in your life and really find something that is bringing you joy, passion, or it's a challenge that you want to overcome and allow that to be your single point of focus, put all of your concentration in it. And if you are trying to sort of, uh, I use this word for one of the other signs, but imbue effort or life or beauty into something, this is the month to do it. You're gonna see a very big return on your efforts in the coming months and year ahead, okay? Without any further delay, let's shuffle the deck and we'll get into your extended forecast. Uh, we start as always with uh, a nice 10 card spread here, the Celtic Cross, which is gonna show me what's been going on, what is going on, and where you're headed. And then we'll extend the forecast, thus the name, to include uh, health, wealth, love, and destiny. So let me lay out the cards and then I'll pick a catalyst card for you. And the catalyst is always that key in the ignition, the way that you can connect everything together, connect the channeled information with the tarot information as well as the oracle cards. So give me one moment and we'll see what that is. Um, just an FYI, I've been getting a lot of requests on almost all of my videos actually, which to me is a nice compliment to ask what deck I'm using and where, where, they, where people can get it. So I will be putting um, a link to the primary tarot deck. I can't do every deck, but I'll do the primary deck. And then um, I'm also gonna have a link to my website that includes, uh, at least for this month, I'll start with all the tarot decks and then maybe next month I'll add in the Oracle. So I'll put links to Amazon so you can, um, you can find them there. Hopefully that will kind of save me some t time from having to paste links in and it'll be a nice transparent way for you guys to find stuff and know what has sort of resonated with me. Um, and then in the future, I'd like to start doing some reviews, but um, everything in its own time. Okay, back to your reading. Concentrate was your, folk, uh, was your uh, channeled information. Now let's take a look at the catalyst. Your, your catalyst card is um, to, <laughs> that's kind of funny. All right, to focus upon divine um, and, per and perfect health. Okay, so for those of you, this is almost easing into your health portion here of the extended forecast. But basically, this month, it's time to take care of you. Um, many of you may be caretakers, you may, might be a parent, you might be taking care of a parent if you're older, um, or you just may be a busy sort of person that focuses your energy on a lot of different things but not so much on your own body. So if that's the case, then this is the month to, uh, and it's a great way to do this, I always mention it's yoga, um, Pilates, meditation, martial arts, uh, anything where you're going to be basically tuning in with your mind and your body. Not so much aerobics, although it does take coordination. I'm thinking of anything that has some sort of a meditative uh, component to it. So you choose, even um, dance can be part of that because you are going to have to coordinate. Um, aerobics is more just moving, but I would say if you want to do something more creative, you could put dance in there. But um, I want you to focus on some sort of an activity that's going to make your body stronger and your mind stronger. And it's going to bring you uh, basically health, wealth, and abundance across all sectors of your life, okay? Also, uh, apparently I was onto something here with concentrating, focusing. Um, focus is gonna be your key word across everything this month, okay? Because that is your, your key card, your keystone, I could also call it instead of catalyst, but I like catalyst. Okay, now let's look at your 
what the cards have to say for this month. I'll pull the camera back a little bit so you can see everything. Okay, your central card is the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is all about starting to figure out what you want. Um, so for those of you that may be students, um, sometimes I don't always talk about some of the younger viewers here, but this could be starting to think about what you want to do when you go to college, what you want to do with your life. The interesting thing that you'll find um, is the older you get, the more you still ask this question. So um, whether you're in your teens or whether you're thinking of retiring, this is a time for you to start to think about what the next three to five years have in store. And, um, and, it's, and it should bring you hope because many of you, partly because Aries is such a strong uh, fire sign, headstrong is what I was gonna say, stubborn sometimes. I feel like many of you have worked really hard to open up opportunities. For those of you that are in um, the early part of your life or the middle of your life, you've started perhaps to spend more wisely or save, or many of you might have gotten your first job or a big promotion at work. There's a lot of opportunities opening up and this is what's making you think, hmm, what do I really, is this where I want to be? Do I want to be doing this next? What, what, what's next in my life? Um, what I uh, see in the crowning position here is Five of Pentacles. Um, with this Five of Pentacles, there's a, a subtle reminder to, hmm, to sort of let go of, do, you, you really don't want to ask for something to come. This is a, a time when you want to demonstrate and show through actions because uh, what I'm getting here with this illustration, which is slightly different from a typical Rider Waite deck, but it's showing me that not to seem too needy and not to be um, also too meek. You, you sort of want that happy medium where you know what you're looking for, you have probably communicated it in the past and you know that you don't have to sort of run it into the ground. So if, if it is time for a promotion, for instance, and your boss isn't isn't sort of picking up on, on your cues, this is when instead of sort of continuing to, to feel victimized or to go to them and, and try to sort of talk about the same thing, you think, why aren't they listening? Is it the universe sort of giving me an, a nudge that this isn't the best place? Um, because what I see here in the recent past is Lovers Reversed. Lovers Reverse is an interesting card um, when it comes to situations and um, occupations, what it means is you're very well received by other people. You, you're, you're admired, you work hard, the work that you do is appreciated, but your heart's not into it. And with you, especially where, again, that fiery energy, your passion has to be part of your purpose, your present. And if it isn't, you're only working at like half, half octave or like one, you know, second gear. You need to sort of get in a little bit of a higher speed and uh, and go forward more. And so, I think it's your own passion or lack thereof that's holding you back. What I see here, uh, as we look into the middle of the month, emotions are going to play a very strong part here. So it's important as the month kicks off that you spend that time planning things out, mapping things out, and really thinking to yourself. Okay, I, I understand what I need. Once you do that, you're going to be able to basically steer the wheel, push yourself into a much more positive trajectory, and um, and be able to sort of tune out some of the, the fears and doubts, and then not get so upset if, if, again, I found more times than not that when something doesn't work out, when you are trying like nonstop to communicate and see if something will shift and people don't react, it's because you're supposed to be on another track. So think about it a little bit, see if that resonates with you. And what I'm seeing here with the 10 of wands, this is in the ego position, the present situation, is that many of you are ready to move, move on. Um, this is a card of completion. Now with it reversed, um, there's a little bit of stagnation, a little bit of a pause, you might have to wait a month, but the bigger sort of message here is, it's time, it's time to think about what you want, okay? And not to fear it, not to worry about what's next, but I think most of you have done the work, you can make that shift if you want it. Um, if you are really sort of bent on staying in a particular position or, or part of your life, I want you then to find the strength um, to, to either have like a, a confrontation or, or, or a discussion with somebody and really help them see your point of view. Be prepared, however, to call your own bluff on these situations, okay? Um, 
money situations this month could be a little bit challenging. So what I would encourage you to do is continue to save. And um, if you're trying to apply for a job, this is something where you'll have to be persistent. You'll have to do a follow-up. If you're applying to schools, make sure that you have a couple of other options that you're looking at. Um, you know, whatever your sort of application process is or, um, or your desire to go forward, just make sure that you've got a, a broad spectrum of op options. They should all be good, but you, should, you shouldn't just be putting all of your eggs in one basket this month. I see the end of the month, uh, you're going to be pressed to make a decision. We've got judgment here. Um, but what I see here is that you, you are going to have one clear choice. So trust your intuition on this. Um, work towards the beginning of the month just to get yourself in a really positive uh, state of mind, state of being. That's why I'm sort of harping on you to think about what it is you want, to do some planning, to do some soul searching, to meditate. Because then by the time the end of the month comes, your body's going to be stronger, your mind is going to be centered, and you aren't going to be so attached emotionally to a situation. You might have already started to think of other things. Um, and the interesting thing, I mention it a lot in these videos, but it never hurts to repeat it. But the way the law of attraction works, one of the key components of it is the law of detachment. So I just want to pull the camera down so you can see all of the cards. I know a lot of you really like to um, take a look at the imagery. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the relationship and emotional part before we even get into our extended forecast. Um, in your deep past, we see the Six of Cups in reversed. And um, what this is about is uh, really finding a connection with uh, somebody in your life that is, I want to say it's all, it can be a soulmate, it can be a twin flame, but you're seeking understanding and acceptance uh, on a level that doesn't really require you having to communicate. Some of you are seeking that sort of soul purpose or that soul mate. Um, what I see that, that is coming through in all of your cups cards this month, however, um, are that there's going to be some challenges associated with being able to quickly uh, accomplish some of that connection. Uh, so this is a better month for sort of like planning and, and forecasting than it is for setting everything in, in motion. It's much more of a, of a passive and a cognitive month than an active month for you. Um, the only action I really want to see you doing for the most part is taking care of your body, coming to a, a decision, which I see you're going to have to reach at the end of the month. But really, this month, you're allowed, if you want to, to just sort of focus on thinking, planning, absorbing, meditating, because um, you really need to turn these two cups cards around. Some of you may actually be getting out of a relationship with the Queen of Cups in reverse, uh, and we also see the lovers in reverse. And we see judgment at the end of the spread here showing the sort of desired outcome or probable outcome. And so what I see here is some, some challenges emotionally for some of you and possibly that leading to uh, it's sort of a do or die moment for some of you where you're either going to stick it out or it's time then to cut losses, move on. Um, and for some of you, this passion situation, because we see money and two of wands at the center is actually a work situation. Again, with the Five of Pentacles showing that it's no longer adding up, that you need or want more than you're getting in that current situation. It's lacking in value. It's lacking in, in uh, overall satisfaction. But what I see is a beautiful card here is that you're going to be building strength. You're going to be building your own sort of sense of confidence. And by the end of this month, when you have to make a decision, either on a relationship or a work front, you're not going to be feeling... You're not going to be wondering, did I do the right thing? The other thing with this judgment card, uh, there's really a, a, a guidance sort of illustration here coming through angelic or spiritual. A lot of times with judgment, you'll see um, people rising up from the earth showing sort of a resurrection sort of theme. But what I see here is that you're going to be guided. It's not going to feel like it's such a... Um, a final uh, decision. This is basically an opening of a door and going towards a better path. So you're going to feel enlightened and heartened even towards the end of the month. And uh, I'm just encouraging you to follow your heart's desires this month. If it's saying let go, let go. If it's saying um, to focus and try to fix, do it because as I said, this could be your one thing that you're supposed to focus on. We have concentrate and then focusing um, uh, on divine and perfect health. So what makes you feel good? What brings you happiness, joy, and a sense of accomplishment? That's the right path to take. Okay? 
So now let's take a look at your expanded forecast and see what's coming through. Um, the first card or the first um, area that we're going to look at is your health. And a reminder that this includes mind, body, and spirit. So your first card is to simply love. Um, and it really goes back to what I was connecting with before here, which was something is missing. And when I put when I keep the cards upside down, I've had questions. It's a reversal. This is showing a subdued version of the lover. So there's something about this that's muted, that's not connecting this card upright, is saying um, you need to connect with your heart space. You need to do something that feels good. You notice the six with the six of cups. You may have a pivotal decision happening around the sixth of the month, which is going to ask you to basically pull in on um, it could also be children and family because that is a component of the Six of Cups often, um, children. So family may weigh in. All of this is um, in integral to your overall um, health situation this month. So if you love what you're doing, if you're feeling complete, if you're feeling uh, attached to it, then your general energy is going to be much better. You're going to have more to give and you're going to be able to stay strong but passion has to be a part of it. Uh, I will say this, uh, with it being love and with love being connected to the heart, um, this is something where if you, for some reason, can't connect to what I was saying earlier with meditation, etc., I would actually be okay as, uh, with, with you having some sort of physical activity that gets the heart pumping. Um, again, I think dance would be perfect or some sort of um, coordinated effort where you're 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 engaging both this and your body but if it's just your body that's okay because it will pump the energy it will pump the blood through you that's going to help quite a bit so somehow engage your heart whether it's physical activity um, or preferably something that you love that brings you passion okay let's take a look at uh, wealth and abundance for you this month <laughs> that's funny um, basically Almost every word that I'm saying gets pulled in the cards. Okay, uh, that you don't have to worry this month. That for those of you that feel like there is a little bit of a setback, which we saw in the hopes and fears area, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, um, that more opportunities will be coming through. This isn't the end. This is merely a transition. Whatever. Again, if you have to leave, if someone asks you to leave, whether you're being broken up, uh, someone's breaking up with you, or you're, you're doing the breaking up, or you're leaving, or, or you're given the pink slip, whatever the situation is where an end is coming, um, there'll be much more around the corner and probably much better. So know that abundance is on your side, particularly with money and opportunities, okay? But also extending to relationships. Now when we look at health, wealth, love, um, let's see what's coming through for matters of the heart. There's been a lot of overflow for all of these this month, but that's okay. That's just showing that you're on the right path and that um, the, the message coming through is pretty clear. It's, it's similar messages. Okay, so for love, let, go, let it go. Um, and what I'm seeing here, if we again pull the camera down gently here, um, I do see some of you having to, let, to move aside. Judgment is often about a decision to move forward. What I like is that judgment is upright. Um, and also, uh, it's not as harsh as, say, justice. Judgment is saying this is a decision that you've weighed out and you've had a chance to think about. It's also your own judgment. It's not imposed upon you. So with it not being reversed, with it being up upright, and with it not being justice, I can rule out that it's probably um, a beginning of like a legal case, etc. This is usually a decision. You've already come to the point where you've weighed everything. Now it's a matter of either just speaking or acting or signing your name, but it's pretty much done. So uh, all you really have to do is take the step that you've been thinking about. Don't delay on that, okay? Um, now let's take a look at your destiny. Oh, and by the way, I should say some of you may be getting out of, uh, I see two types of people sort of either causing issues this month or stepping out of your life. We have a water sign, probably a woman, queen of cups in reverse, deep emotional sort of connection, but possibly very uh, requiring a lot of, of, of assistance or a lot of your time with the knight of pentacles, some, someone much younger, possibly in their 20s, um, early 30s, uh, can be a little bit selfish, actually. 
both of these are requiring more of your energy or your effort if either of these are in your life that might be who you have to let go of so we have water signs and earth signs that are sort of causing a little bit more challenge with you and as aspects of yourself it's it's saying try to be not not too needy and not too emotionally maybe either um I want to say erratic or or even kind of clinging to other people needing them needing validation from them try to be more self-sufficient this is why the focus on mind and body will help you and it's going to help you attract a much higher level of partner when you're ready for that but i think this month is either about um it's it's usually about stepping out of a situation that isn't helping you because otherwise it's going to be very difficult for you to engage in a love relationship all right, and now as we look at your cat, uh, not your catalyst card, but your destiny card, um, it's to t basically to tune into that intuition. And because of the illustration on this one, I'm actually getting that this will happen for many of you on the astral plane, because I see this sort of celestial illustration. So sleep is where I want you to pay special attention to guidance messages. And you may or may not know this, but you can kind of program uh, what you're going to, to do when you go to sleep. So you could set as an intention that you have a protected space and you want to connect with guides or angels and you want to do some work on release and think about who it is in your life that you want to release. Feel that they're there with you and that they're going to help you with that process of letting go. Also, you can maybe tune into what's coming, um, what's coming to you as far as opportunities after you make a decision or how to best communicate the decision that you're trying to um, let other people know about okay overall this month looks really good for you um, a little bit of a challenge though with with regards to wor work and um, and sort of personal situations this month so this is where I want you to tune in to know that you are guided um, your money situation seems okay with the ace of Pentacles at the center and with the abundance card that we pulled so let me just uh, sum up again what came through your channeled information was to stay focused and to really focus your energy and your um and your intention on at least one major item maybe two and have those things be imbued with your energy um, that one of your central focus uh focuses across all elements should be your spiritual health your divine health which is why i'm mentioning a mind body spirit exercise like yoga or um dance or Pilates, something where you're, you're mindfully moving. Um, for health, passion has to be part of your daily activities. So I want you to enjoy what you're doing and who you're with. And if not, then that's who you're going to have to sort of um, take out of your life and say, I, I can't do this anymore, basically. Um, don't worry so much about having stuff if something falls out a little bit on the um, on the money side i feel like it's going to come back around so this is just uh one of the ups and down periods so don't worry about it when it comes to um this is health wealth this is love again release relationships that aren't working for you make a decision speak the decision speak your truth for some of you it may be a commitment too and you want to be with someone you've made that decision so even better um, you can propose if you want that can also be judgment um, because you've made a major decision follow your intuition this month this is your destiny card um, it's a great time for um, working on the astral plane working um, on in, in meditation and also in sleep uh, ask for protection when you do this of course but intuition will be heightened and um, I think it's going to lead you into a great great spring and a great direction so I hope this was helpful for everyone um, if you ever want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me um, there's a contact uh, link for my uh, booking an appointment and you can check availability. I'm currently booking about a month ahead just so you know, but um, now's a great time to to start booking for April for instance. Um, otherwise, keep in touch with me. I'll let you know when new videos are posted, uh, when news uh, that's appropriate to whoever watches this channel is, is worth sharing. So you can keep track of me on my Facebook page, um, here on YouTube of course by subscribing. I also have a newsletter and um, Twitter and Instagram. So I'll post all of those links and you can choose whatever feels like the best sort of social media outlet for you. Otherwise, uh, keep in touch and thank you so much for the support. I love reading your comments and seeing the likes and subscribes. It really does help encourage me. So take care of yourself. Thank you so much and I'm grateful to have you in my life. Take care, bye-bye.